everybody. We're back for another family time out. We are heading down to the high school here in our town to watch them play some football. So we got the kids here and... The Wildcats. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, we're doing it. So come along, we're having a family time out. Yay, football. We made it down here. High school football in our town. Looking like it's uh, seven to six right now. Third down and seven. Charlie's excited. Here they go. Charlie, please stop shaking the camera. And we'll show you the stands are packed. We didn't get here for the opening, but uh, they got all these motorcycles all over here, and they come out of this back woods here at the opening. So maybe one day we'll make it down here and we'll be able to show you that. But it's the end of summer, getting into fall, and. Uh, High school football is starting up in the good old U.S. of A. Twelve seven. Let's see if they make can, can make the kick. Here it comes snap placement kick is up and it's good for the extra point. We got a thirteen to seven game going on here. We got some happy humans on this side. And we got some not so happy people over here. But a lot of game left, so we'll see what's going on. What do you think, Charlie? This game is really awesome. All right, but the beautiful thing about football is anything can change. Let's see what happens on this kickoff. I thought you were going to say the wonderful thing about football is the band. <laughs> Everybody loves the band. I played in the band for the game. Yeah, here he goes. I did pet band. Whoop, whoop. Let's kick that ball. Alright, here we go. And... A little bouncer. Go, go, go.
screen pass. Oh, they missed a the tackle. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. All right, we got second and 10. Y'all want to hear my announcer voice? We got second and 10 for Marengo. We got two receivers to the left, one receiver to the right. Um, I can't really see the backfield from where I'm standing. Maybe one back looks like next to the quarterback. A little shotgun action. One receiver in motion, hands off up the middle where he looks like he gets from where I'm standing about six yards. This Marengo team looks like they've got a uh, nice little pass run mixture going on tonight, which might be what's tripping up the Wildcats. They don't know if they're going to throw it or they're going to run it. Uh, we'll have to see as the night goes on, but uh, here we go. Third down and five, Let's see if they can convert the first down. We got two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left, so a little double wide receiver action going on. One back. Snap on the clap, throws to the left. He caught it, caught it. There, where are they gonna mark him? They looks like he got enough for the first down. I could do this a high school announcement bit, couldn't I? You can leave that in a comment. Job. Yeah. <laughs> you know, hit me up if uh, you want an announcer. We got a hand, little handoff up the middle here. Looks like they got a nice push out of that offensive line. To see where they spot them. A couple yards. Not as big of a push as I thought. I'm kind of sitting here at a funny angle. I will better turn the camera though. All right. So looks like we got uh, one receiver in the slot to the right. Again, two receivers each side, looking to the sidelines, getting the play. Oh, they're gonna bring that receiver in tight. Little snap, fake the handoff, quarterbacks up the middle, they're missing tackles. Got a nice first down run out of that one. Again, missed tackles is uh, not helping these Wildcats out tonight. Tell you what, our vantage point is uh, coming in handy down here, huh? Not for the home team, though. Another one right up the gut. Nothing fancy out of that play. See the whole field here. All right, we're looking to the sideline again, get the play. Two receivers to the left. Looks like two to the right. Looks like a common formation for these guys tonight. We got a timeout. Timeout on the away team. Here we go, that same formation. One back in the backfield. Gonna run a little spread offense going on here. Oh, quarterback keeper to the right. We got a flag on the play. There's a flag. Where? On the field. Oh. That's the boys of fall. That's right. The quarterback keeper, but they can't tackle tonight. He's got the edge. Oh, we might have a late hit there, but uh, they did not call that, and these sideline coaches are not happy about that late hit. I can tell you that. Pleading, pleading with the official over here to the right. Sir. That's what he said. Coach said, sir, pay attention. Bring on the bells. See if we can, uh, they can get this uh, home team hyped. 
with this defense hyped. Third down and nine. All right, we got we got a pass. Oh, ho, ho. that is a well, well deflected pass. What do you say to that, Charlie? Fourth and nine, so they have to kick it. Yeah. All right, we got some Butterfinger chants from the uh, student section over there. Keeping it classy, Wilmington, keeping it classy. But you know what? We're going to go for it on fourth down here. And it's uh, looking to <laughs> looking to me like that kid just got his clock cleaned. And we got a flag on that hit, too. Hey, there's a flag. Where? On the field. Oh. I don't think. Yeah, don't lay a finger on the Butterfinger. He got his clock cleaned on that one, which uh, in today's football is not okay. They're talking about it. Let's see what. Let's see what he comes up with. Oh, we got a sideline warning on Wilmington. That's a flag for the sideline. Timeout on the official. Looks like they're gonna take a measurement here. So we got a sideline warning on Wilmington. If you don't know what that is, that's where the coaches and the players, um, they have a line they have to stand behind so that the officials have room to work. And they were impeding the official space on that play. So he was not too happy about that. But it looks like they're gonna bring these chains out and take a measurement. Let's see what, uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, Mr. 44 thinks he's short. The officials are looking. I don't have a call yet. It is short. Ball is going to Wilmington. So they made a great uh, defensive stand on that play. You know, all that positive yardage for Marengo on the offense uh, fell short. I'm guessing they don't have a, that big of a kicking game here in high school to make that three points. They were like probably about 30 plus yards out so pretty common at this level of high school football to not have a kicker to be able to make that so um, we'll see what Wilbin can, can do with the ball here for the rest of this uh, second quarter down 7 to 13 6 minutes 40 seconds left Wilmington likes to run this uh, wing tee offense looks like a pitch to the back right up the right side a little bit there for a gain of about two or three yards two or three yard gain on that nice little push from their uh, offensive line and uh, I'm telling you you're gonna see them do it again that's all they do over here they'll run the pass out of that wing tee you know they'll fake to each back um, if you're Marengo you really got to tackle every back coming out of that backfield because you just don't know where the ball is going and they've been very successful with this uh, offense over the years so here we go again. You got uh, the big up, the big down back right behind 12, 44. Went to the left. Nice little handoff, but uh, we got no gain on that one. No gain on that one, folks. Third and eight. Let's see if they can convert. Quarterback's keeping it. He's looking for a pass here. He's got a man open. He's broke a tackle. He's up the sideline. It's a big gainer, big play from Wilmington. Wish I could show you it, but they're down the sideline. All right. See, that's my dance with it. <laughs> They are so close to a touchdown. They cannot lose their chance to go back and unleash. All right, you heard it. They got 49 seconds till halftime. Let's see what we got going on here. Third and five. They're gonna let that clock tick down. Probably uh, try a couple of times here to get an end zone. Oh, he is in, folks. He is in. That is a touchdown. 
So we got a tight game here with that touchdown, 13 to 13. Touchdown, Dan Right. From what I saw at the preview night the other night, Wilmington can kick, so. We'll see if they can get that extra point, take the lead into the half. Oh, wide to the left on that one. So we're going to take a halftime tie, barring anything on the kickoff in the last 27 seconds. We'll see what Marengo wants to do with that last 27 seconds. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the half. Um, we're going to head home. We're going to stay out here all night. We're getting eight up by all these bugs you see flying around on the screen. So um, with that said, we will watch the band. We'll give you a little band footage. The show must go on. But not the shoe. But no, <laughs> not the shoe. Oh, such a lonely little shoe. <laughs> I wish you comfort and joy.